November 2020. I said my IGCSE chemistry exams. I remember receiving my results in January with excitement for my chemistry mark. Turns out I had 96%. You would think that's enough to get you a Cambridge Outstanding Learner Award. I was wrong. I guess maybe there were people who did better than me, so I thought, fair enough. January 2023, I received my A-level maths results. In truth, I already had a pretty good idea of my final mark, 96%. Again, surely I can get at least top in the country, right? And I remember hoping that this was the time. These are my final high school results, it's now or never. And wouldn't you know it, yesterday I got... Nope. Nope, I didn't get it. I got 1,000 subscribers, and that's more important than a Cambridge Outstanding Learner Award. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine. Through your consistent support, and watching, liking, commenting, sharing these videos, we have managed to reach 1,000 subscribers, and the growth in this month has been exponential. I mean, we had just over 100 subscribers at the beginning of this month, and now, 1000. So I'd like to say thank you all for this incredible achievement. This wouldn't have been possible without you, literally. I would also like to extend a massive thank you to Cambridge because part of the reason I'm here is because they didn't give me that award. I'd like to think that this was the driving force that led me to creating this platform in the hopes of helping others achieve what I couldn't. A lifetime ago, I too sought the stones, but it cast me out, banished me here. Guiding others to a treasure I cannot possess. And I know that soon we will have many success stories. As we celebrate, I'd like to mention a few notable subscribers and people who have pioneered the growth of this channel. First, myself, because I was the first official subscriber to this channel. <laughs> Don't judge me, everyone does it. Then Tamika Dean, who was the first real subscriber. So thank you, Tamika. Then Mr. Alexander Jankovic, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, who has supported both the channel and the website massively. I really do appreciate your support and I hope you and your students continue to get value from our resources. And recently, where the Ginger Mathematician subscribed to our channel. If you don't know him, he is one of the biggest creators in this A-level maths niche. He has very good tutorials and tips. Go show him some love on his channel and tell him I sent you. Just a quick note, I'll be displaying some of my favorite comments as we go through this video, so comment down below if you made the list. Okay, so we've hit 1k, what's coming next? Obviously the May June exams are about to start, but I'd like to just share a few plans and ideas that I have for the channel going forward. Of course we want to continue growing and connecting with more and more students and teachers and providing them with modern and unique A-level math resources. I've been playing around with the idea of creating a resource that can solve every GCE A-level math question. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Past and present, giving you a detailed explanation of the solution. It should also be able to analyze a provided solution, giving you feedback on where you went wrong. And the solutions will look kind of like the ones you see in the topical questions worksheets. By the way, the first 20 people that use the code 1000 will get pure 3 worksheets at 80% off. So they will only cost you $5 in total. But only the first 20 people, so act quick. Link is in the description below. Obviously, this isn't something that will happen soon because a lot of time and resources will be required. But I'm sure with your continued support, we will eventually get there. So tell your friends to support the channel and this might happen sooner than you think. I also recently came up with the idea of working with students for a period of about 30 to 90 days, helping them change their use to A stars and documenting this process on YouTube as a way to give back to all of you. And even if you aren't a part of the group, I'm sure seeing others do it will give you the motivation to do it yourself. Again, a lot of resources would be required to make this happen, but I'm sure someday we'll do it. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Boom, bam, pow. Oh! So if you haven't subscribed by now, I don't really know what else to tell you. But now, looking more short term, May June exams are upon us. So what's the plan? I thought, you know what, let me get rid of this UDA style course that I was selling to you guys and give it to you completely for free. 
So I took it apart and I took only the bits that are relevant to you right now and I'm going to be posting those in the coming weeks. So those bits consist of the common questions for every component apart from stats 2 and mechanics. Sorry. So this week our focus will be on pure one since the exam is on Thursday. Tomorrow I'll post the common questions for pure one at 6 p.m. CAT. So make sure to tune in. These are the most frequent questions in the pure one paper and I'll be showing you how to solve them. I guarantee you that if you master these questions, you have a very good chance of getting that A star. But again, only if you master them. And it's not enough to just watch me and say that you've understood. You have to go do the questions by yourself without any guidance and see if you've truly understood them. And I'm also working on a full scale Cambridge standard guest paper for you guys. So I'll post that on Monday and I'll give you guys some time to work on it before I upload the marking scheme on Tuesday. And on Tuesday, I'll also post a video of me solving the guest paper. On Wednesday, I'll give you the final tips for your exam. And on Thursday, the ball is in your court. You know what to do. And we're going to follow this exact same procedure for stats 1 and pure 3. That's common questions, guest paper, and then the tips. And if you know anyone who might find this useful, share it with them. Don't be stingy. Stop trying to pass by yourself. And tell Cambridge that this is a revolution and we're only getting started. See you tomorrow.